What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to an MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun, more excitement here on a Sunday in the museum. Just hanging out down here, guys, enjoying my uh, toy collection here in the museum. And we haven't done a, a uh, Mego offering for you in a while it's been a, it's been a minute we've been uh really enjoying our, our our star wars and uh barbies and things of that nature but uh we have a a really fun and a really cool mego offering for you i'm a little late to the party with this one though this is a the uh red hood dc character um very obscure though um really cool figure she's got the the Batman logo on his chest. Uh, there's a lot of history uh, with this this figure. Uh, I believe uh, his his origin uh, he dates all the way back to uh, Detective Comics uh, issue 168, DC from was that 1951 February February of 1951 was uh, his first appearance. I uh, I believe this is the incarnation of. Uh, Jason Todd, I believe. The more modern version. Uh, you know, Red Hood's a uh, vigilante. Who fought alongside um, Batman. And the Red Hood, I said are incarnations because uh, there's a lot of people that don the, the Red Hood. Uh, I believe even the Joker at one time was the Red Hood. So Mego really, really did some uh, some research on really getting this guy, uh, bringing this guy to a Mego action figure. So I give him, I give Mego a lot of credit for that. I bought this uh, beautiful Red Hood figure from a Big Bad Toy Store. But I, I believe now, because at the time, I couldn't get it from uh, movie posters, uh, etc. That's my favorite place. But um, I believe movie posters, etc. Ha has this, or they will have this uh, soon. But this is a fantastic figure. Uh, as you can see, great likeness. The short jacket. Bat emblem there on the chest, which seems like it's a different part, uh, di different material, different uh, layer from the the actual jumpsuit itself. More like a, a billy club here. No firearm, as you can see. I want to say that the Red Hood had a firearm, but this Red Hood doesn't. Just like a billy club, nightstick, if you will. He's on the new bandless body with the the 26 points of articulation. I absolutely love the head sculpt. Great head sculpt. Like I said, the likeness is there. your thoughts your opinions you want to hear it all do you have this figure like i said i'm a little late a little late to the party uh with my red hood amigo figure i've had it for a while though but i'm still a little late because i you know my definition of being late is is basically doing my videos so i i've had the figure for a while but i haven't i haven't done a video to really get it out there to, to kind of showcase it for you guys so that, that's my definition of being a little late to the party. I know some of you guys probably had this the, the very second it came out. Let's turn this around for you. Get your blown out look at the back. Uh, great artwork. Fantastic artwork, actually. 
Uh, this is what I want my card to look like. You know, I'm an MIB collector. So the front card, fantastic. And you got the world's greatest Mego heroes on it. And then basically you just have really the same picture on the back with a little bit more detail from the the actual comic it was taken from or drawn from. We don't know who did the head sculpt. So if anybody has any information on who did the head sculpt, the clothing, uh, let us know in the comment section. Right underneath this video, guys. The Red Hood. Uh, this character, though, uh, just from my uh, information research, is there's a uh, TV series, uh, numerous comics, obviously, of this character. I have personally have never seen any of this, but now that, you know, doing my research and just checking this out, I am, uh, the Red Hood is very curious, uh, a curious character. So I would definitely want to check it out. And if you've seen any uh, films or TV series about the Red Hood, let me know in the comment section, guys. I, I would like to, hear about it just a cool figure guys i wanted to share this with you guys i haven't uh really um like i said earlier did uh, really haven't done many migo videos so i wanted to get this guy out for you so you can get a get some good good looks at him if you haven't gotten him definitely pick this guy up Definitely worth adding to your Mego collection. Like I said, Migos, you know, they're 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 really thinking outside of the box as far as these characters. This is one I I, I never would have thought would have ended up as a uh, a Mego figure. Now that's how obscure he is to me. You know, he he might be on on, on your radar, but uh, as far. As, as far as DC characters, he wasn't on mine. But I'm glad he is. I'm glad he's a Mego figure. He, he looks fantastic. Love the jacket. That jacket, is a, that's a two-part. I mean, it, no, it connects, actually. It, it was designed to look like it's a two-part, but it's, it's really not. It's the same. Same jacket, just stitched together. Black leather here at the forearms, and then at the elbows, it goes into... The brown leather part. Just a really fun, cool figure. Figure. More on the way, guys. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.